hi guys welcome to the channel zoll photography this video is going to be basically about these memory cards that i bought off ebay um, i bought them off reputable sellers claiming they were genuine and based on all the details they looked fine but everything on ebay at the moment in terms of memory cards seems to be fake and that's based on me buying from three separate sellers with these memory cards and um, i later discovered once they sold out that the feedback people are giving was confirming what i thought so the kingston was a definite fake after two days it stopped working altogether the other two they seem to on and off be visible so you can see them as drives but then you can't and that's based on the using them as uh, in mobile phones and cameras uh, i used to use them in the drift cameras but these are just having a pain now so what that leads me to believe is don't buy memory cards off ebay anymore and um, what i do is i've gone to argos and bought one from there and i'm gonna do a test on it um, official Argos is an official seller, so let's go and pick up the one. So don't bother with eBay anymore. What you want to do is, like I did today, I went straight to Argos and bought this. So Argos is an official dealer for SanDisk. And this is a 32 gigabyte card and I paid £18 for it. So considering I had to buy three, I've got this one now. So how it comes is, you can see there, it's got a catalogue number. And it looks, well, official. It's how it should be. So... I'll do a few tests to give you the speed and stuff, but you can see this comes in a packet, whereas the other ones weren't sealed. This one's got actually like a cellophane sealant on the back, so if I flip that, the other ones were just in the plastic case, so they were definitely fake. Um, ah, it's a bit of a pain here. So let's just get this off. Oh god, this is right. Okay, there we go. So that's the memory card there. And you can even tell by the writing on there it's slightly clearer and it says in the back but made in china they're all made in china so even the fake ones are made in china but that's there and that's the adapter which you don't really need but yeah the reason i've got this is basically that goodman's cheap camera that i bought needed a decent card for it so i ended up paying more for the card than i did the camera you may be following my goodman's camera review it's an action camera that I'm just testing out basically to see what we can do with a cheap camera. I paid £15 for it and this memory card has cost me £18. So it should allow me to record and we'll see how that works right now. So I'll do a few tests. Alright guys, so basically I'm going to run this flash benchmark um, software on it and see what read and write speeds it comes out with. Um, I know a lot of these memory cards don't give you the speed that it says on there because it's that special up to close business but providing it reads and writes well and it's a class 10 card it writes the video without any glitches um, and it doesn't corrupt on me then i'll be happy so let's see what this does and just as a pointer i recorded this whole clip and video on my mobile phone and uh, that's from the start top down shot and the outdoor shot which i went to argos with um, so just lets you know that you can shoot with everything, anything you've got. So I made a couple of videos about shooting with your mobile phone. And even though I've got DSLRs, um, it can be easier to shoot with a mobile phone. Keep that in mind and go creative.